What's up, family? This is the story of a subhuman who is a former Florida police chief. He goes by the name of Raimundo Otesiano. He and two of his officers are facing prison time for the unethical practice of arresting black people simply to improve their crime stats. They ain't did nothing. Just walking down the street, sitting at the bus stop, sitting on their porch, minding their own business. Whoop, whoop. Next thing you know, they're facing a charge of burglary, uh, robbery, theft, whatever it is. Whatever they felt like charging them with. According to the Miami Herald, Four officers told an investigator that they were ordered to file false charges against black detainees if they have burglaries that are open cases that are not solved yet. If you see anybody black walking through our streets and they have somewhat of a record, arrest them so we can pin them for all of the burglaries. Officer Anthony Della Torre said during an internal investigation, they were basically doing this to have a 100% clearance rate for the city. According to state and local records, most of the people arrested for burglary in 2013 and 2014 were black males. During his time as chief, Atesiano's unprofessional strategy led to 29 of 30 burglary cases being solved and all 19 burglary cases being solved in 2013. He resigned in 2014. Atesiano is facing 11 years in prison and is awaiting trial on charges of civil rights violations. Before covering this story, I went to some of the conservative sites just to see what they were saying, to check their pulse. And not to my surprise, there wasn't as many comments as there usually is when it's anything that's making black people look bad. I don't think I've seen it on Fox and Yahoo, very few comments. You know, Yahoo has a lot of racists. Ooh, man, Yahoo is crawling with racists. Oh, they're everywhere. But very few comments from them on this particular subject. And like I say, that's pretty consistent because they only go in when they can try to make black people look bad. Anytime that somebody gets exposed for doing something uh, wrong to black people, uh, they're very quiet. Uh, they're kind of like, they kind of like throw these, uh, these uh, deflectors, you know, they, they like to do a lot of deflecting, but I get it. This is for your 13% of the population, 80% of the crimes crowd. They love saying that. Boy, it's like they all read from the same handbook. 13% of the population, 80% of the crimes. You damn fool. Common sense should have told you that those numbers were skewed. Common sense would have told you that that doesn't make sense. But you bastards don't have common sense. So I'm not surprised yet again. What makes sense for the numbers to be as lopsided as they are is the profiling of black people since black people entered America or at least came into contact with white people in America. Now you got those who will say, well, the cops were of Latino, Cuban, Hispanic descent. I'd like to see you pin this one on white supremacy. That's easy. White supremacy is in America's DNA. The FBI, the CIA, all of these government agencies have been formed under the structure of white supremacy. 
And those agencies trump any law enforcement agency on a local level. So if they're not performing, they got to arrest somebody. They got to put somebody in jail. So they figure like, well, they'll take the low hanging fruit. They don't want to put people of uh, Cuban, Latino, or Hispanic descent in jail. So how about we just do what white people do? Let's just go after the blacks. You dig what I'm saying? That's easy. How about we do what the, the white cops do? Let's just go after the blacks. And it ain't like the big boys up in Washington or in Florida are going to look down there and say, hey, hey, y'all need to stop doing that because they're doing that in every municipality in America. Your little argument about how black people are the criminals and all this shit, man, Y'all don't get tired of lying to yourself. I mean, I know you lie a lot on social media and stuff, and you know maybe you get drunk and lie. But you, I'm like, I can't lie to my. Maybe I can lie to somebody else, but I can't lie to myself. Y'all don't get tired of lying to yourself. You know damn well those numbers ain't right, but you say it anyway. I guess you, a lot of times you say it just to make yourselves feel good. In any event, I hope like hell. This sucker go down hard. He and the other officers. And I hope also that all these people that's been convicted over the years are set free. That they're exonerated. That they also get paid. Bankrupt the whole damn state. I wouldn't give a damn. And at the end of the day, I would love to see the police chief dropped off in general population with nothing on but his drawers. Because it ain't going to take long for them to rip him off and tear his ass up. No more talk. What the talking about?